this is Sarah. I am back to share a couple uh, spring journals with you guys. These are two more. These are probably going to be the last ones I do. might do a couple traveler's notebooks, but other than that, I think I'm done with spring and I might be moving on to sp summer. I wish we would get into spring and get out of winter because it's been cold here. Anywho, so I made these covers a year ago and I kept going to them, putting them away, going to them, putting them away. Finally, I was like, I seen Artie Mates' spring journal kit and I was like, you know what, I'm going to use that kit and I'm going to make the finish these journals out. So that's what I did. And I actually love how they turned out. So let's jump into them. So we'll start with the pink one, purple one, whatever you want to call it. So these are just, these are kind of out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm more of a matchy-matchy kind of person usually. And this is just a bunch of mit, mix, match, and I'm actually kind of digging it. So it actually was fun doing so I, met, I might be doing more of it <laughs> so anyway I use the Tim Holtz always be on the lookout for the present of wonder and I sewed that on to a cluster of different fibers up here I used an applique underneath here with another applique on top sewed this button on uh, I layered my closure underneath that so it sewed on, and then I layered acetate butterfly, uh, a cardstock butterfly, a couple cardstocks butterflies underneath on top of that, on top of another little cardstock butterfly, and then put a little bit of bling. I sewed that all on and then added the bling. So, and then I sewed the whole way around this beautiful fabric if I can show it I might have to move this out of the way if I can lay it out here isn't that really pretty fabric oh, I love this fabric it attaches everything to it but it is really pretty so I had this floral fabric to begin with and yeah, so we're gonna, this is how you open it up. This is what it looks like. I back the closure part over here with an applique and then I stenciled right here cause it was kind of plain. And then right here, I added some couple laces and then added the gold leaf trim. And I sewed down that, so that's on there. On this side, I added uh, some cheesecloth and some uh, eyelash trim, an, uh, an applique, put a button on top to make it look like a flower right here. And then over here, I just did a cluster of different things. Uh, this is Sorry Silk on top of some ribbon and then I sewed it down. Um, there's an applique there. Uh, there's some purple leaf trim down here on top of another lace. I made a lace pocket. This is a file folder and a Tim Holtz um, piece of paper right there and that's on there. Uh, I made one of these tags and then I made this little booklet using these two papers from uh, Tim Holtz and I just used flower appliques to glue them together and then I just put a soda notebook inside there. Sorry I'm having trouble finding my words. So then you open it up, I don't know if I can get this all in here, and I made a 
little uh, frame. This was used in a tutorial from Amity Bloom when I took her course of journals. So I had these left over. I put some lace in here and then instead of acetate I used lace and then I used a journaling card and I just added a cluster of fibers on the top there for the tuck spot or the pull out. You flip this over and this is magnetic and I used a little uh, window envelope. I put flowers bloom in there on top of a yellow index card and then there's a couple journaling spots right here and I made a little pocket right there and then you got a little tag with sorry silk topper and then in this pocket you have one of these journaling cards. I think this is using Nikki um, Odgum. Sorry if I didn't say that right. Uh, one of her torn paper scrap kits. I'm not sure what it's called. I'll try to link that below. And then I made these little journaling bags. And just a little journal inside. Made it, I used a bag make it I might hang a charm from that and then that closes over I hung a little uh, dragonfly so then here I used the negative and I backed it with some book page and I made a tuck spot out of it with a couple of these tags and this is using uh, Stamperia Spring paper. Then this tag is holding, I embossed one of these library Rolodex cards. It's not a library card. It's a Rolodex card. And I put some Tracy Box labels on there. And then I made this little slide pocket. That gets tucked behind there. This opens up and you can open up the page. This is a little booklet and then it's attached. I made these little tags from watching Gina at Butter or Firefly Studios. Um, some coffee dyed paper. Here's another one of these flip up journaling spots. And I just use, love these little clips. They're so cute. Ledger paper, tea dyed paper, a pocket right there. This is from the kit. Uh, an older paper clip. And then on this side, I used uh, a couple. Um, what I did is I made I made these for my other spring journals and you open them up and you see the book page in the middle. Let me show you. And then there's a book page and then a pocket and then there's a pocket in the back as well. So I had these left over but I, I didn't want to make them like this so instead I cut it in half and then this is what I come up with is I made a pocket on the bottom here so there's a pocket here there's a little tuck spot on the bottom here and then this is a little booklet at the top and that's using that painters paper so it's really thin so it's like next to nothing inside there so and then I just put a circle closure on there with some beads and then it just slides over top of that paper clip super cute another booklet right here this opens up 
can journal inside here. My hands never want to work for me. Okay. My left hand, it, it works when it wants to work, so that's why I use my right hand all the time. Um, these to flip out again. Uh, here's those tickets. They're can journal on the back of them if you'd like. And then inside I have a couple beads hanging and then a couple charms. And it is uh, stenciled inside. Here is a CD case envelope. I just decorated it, added a tab, added a little tuck spot on the back, and then uh, a pocket from the kit, and another little tag right there. This one is a Gail Gostinelli's Eco Died. And then I put a tag back here. And a little booklet. And then this one flips up and flips down. It's kind of made like the other ones that I showed. And I just added uh, a flower right here. These are the fussy cut ones by Tuck Tables. And then I added a Stampin' Up tab and hung a charm. Put a little eyelet in it. And that opens up. This is Tim Holtz wallpaper. Added a little tuck spot. Tea dyed paper, ledger, the bag. Tea dyed paper, tea dyed paper, little ledger. Then right here, I took this opens up, stenciled. I took uh, one of the library. Um, catalog card that took two of them. This is just held together with a piece of scrap, pa uh, scrap fabric. But it opens up and I put one of the pockets in here and I added a little mini notebook. Put a, one of the butterflies on top. That just gets tucked in there. I added one of the tabs from the kit. And then I just did a little notebook over here. And then on the back, there's a tuck spot back there with the butterfly. And on the front, there's some labels. And then a little tuck spot with some of the little journaling or ephemera that it come with the kit. And then just tie this back up. And then it just clips on to the side here. And then back here is a library pocket. And I embossed it, added a couple labels, added the library card, I just added some of these. These are background papers, and then I printed them out on sticker paper, so you could just tear them, ink them, and slap them on. <laughs> Pretty much. And then there's a tuck spot back here with the pocket on the side. And then back here I added one of these, and this is using the avocado dyed paper so it's a little bit more versatile because you can use the whole thing for journaling and then I just have that clipped on with one of these rose gold skeleton clips 
And then back here, I just made a pocket right here using different lace. I have a lace butterfly. I put a um, big safety pin, added some beads, and then I kind of made it look like a dragonfly because I added this bead on the bottom. And then this little tag goes in here. Uh, and then I made this tag. It says, Hello Spring. And then just layered some different fibers and leaf trim. And yeah, so this is this one. Turned out really cute. And then you just wrap this around. However many times you want. And then it goes around the button. Okay, so then that's that one. And then this one, it has the same Tim Holtz a uh, metal piece up here. It says, no beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. And then this one's constructed a little different. So on the front here, I have a couple appliques with some buttons. And then I did the same thing with the closure here. Uh, added some leaf trim, some sari silk, and some uh, lace on the side here. You open it up. I did a little key with a brad and a couple flowers for the, the cover up on the closure. Uh, a late couple of lace and burlap and then the uh, leaf trim. And then over here, I got a little journal, put an applique with a butterfly and a label there. And then inside I used Lavender by Prima and just made a little journal here. And this says, this is beauty all around, even among the weeds. So you can tie this off. And on this side. Now it gets tucked back in this pocket. And then this clip is holding this little tag that says, Think Spring. And then this flips down. This is an acetate pocket. And then you have a pocket behind that. And then here is a little um, time card and there's a pocket behind it. This flips down, you can journal. And I made a little pocket here using a tea card. And then the clip just goes on top of that. That's one of the Tim Holtz number card, number uh, clips. And then on the front, I just decorated it with some Tim Holtz uh, die cuts and I used sticker paper. Yeah, I used sticker paper um, when I cut those out to lay on top of this just to give it a little bit of a layer. And then up here at the top is an acetate butterfly, a couple cardstock, and then I used a nub pen. And then I added uh, stamens up there to look like antennas. And then you open this up and it has a button here that you wrap 
the seam binding around. I used a, this is magnetic, it's a little envelope. You flip it open, you can journal inside of it. And then that butterfly is just clipped on there. And then uh, maybe. Okay. So then this is a journaling card. You could journal there. I made a little flower right there. And then this flips open and you can journal inside of the time card. There's a journal bag here with a, car, a tag, and I have a little card here, playing card. And then this is a little uh, file folder from, this is Among the Flowers, I think it's from, oh, what's her name? I'll have to link it below, I can't think of it offhand. A little tag here and a little card there and then this is a little journaling spot inside this little lace pocket lots of little interactives so then over here I made a pocket, it's a fabric and lace pocket. I added one of these tag booklets, a couple tickets right there, a tag from the kit, uh, one of those um, slide accordion booklets. This is a booklet too that flips out. Back here is an embossed Rolodex card, book page, um, Gail Gostinelli's Eco Dye paper, this cream paper, this is the kit, and then it opens up and stenciled inside. Ledger, tea dyed paper, another one of these little booklet pockets. This is an embossed coffee dyed envelope. Tea dyed paper, here's the book page. And then this is the kit, the center of the signature, and then I did stencil inside. Another one of those tags I learned from Gina. Uh, a pocket from the kit, the embossed envelope, tea dyed, tea dyed ledger, the kit again, stenciled inside, the cream paper, this is a napkin tag with tea dyed paper backing it, and then I made the this little flip up, flip down, hung a charm from the bottom. Uh, a couple pieces of ephemera in this tag and made a pocket. Little charm on this side. There's another one of these pockets that come open and you can journal. And then here's another one of these little booklets I made. It's the same thing like the other one I showed you. And then here's the embossed library pocket with the library card. And then here is this journaling spot. It's made like the other one with the frame and the little Tim Holtz die cuts book page. And then back here, there's another pocket. Has this little
try fold in there. Zermling spot, a little tag here with a butterfly tuck. And then this little journaling spot. Couple dike uh, cutoffs from a paper pack and a little spool that says hello friend. Uh, this little has a couple bags in it. You could put a couple pieces of ephemera inside of it, little tickets for tuck spots, and tags for tuck spots. Something cute made out of tags. And then this is The same thing, it's kind of like an ephemera folio. I used glassine bags layered on top of each other and added a couple pockets. And I just added a couple appliques to this little paper clip. That gets tucked in there with a little butterfly on top. And then that shuts up and there's some charms hanging from there. I made the pockets using like a doily and a couple pieces of lace. But yeah, that's this journal. I think it turned out really cute. A couple buttons hanging here from the top of that little tag. And then the side here has layered up and a couple of lace flowers. I don't know if I can show the fabric on this one. That's the fabric on this one. Not pretty. So yeah, that's this journal. And I had so much fun. I'm so glad I got these uh, made up and done up and they turned out really cute and pretty happy with them. I hope you guys are as well and uh, let me know what you guys think. I um but yeah so these two will be listed in the in the shop. Uh, I will come up with some name probably Beauty and Wonder and uh, but yeah, these will be listed in the shop. I'll have pictures of them, and then I'll link this video to it as well. So yeah, until then, I will be back with more. And until then. I'll